The key points with this problem is, first of all, we assume that the flywheel is a solid cylinder. We also note that the cable is light, and hence we can ignore its mass. If it didn't have negligible mass, then we would have to take into account its gaining kinetic energy and its loss of potential energy. Also note that the cable unwinds without slipping. This means that the speed of a point on the rim of the flywheel is the same as that of the cable. For no slipping to occur, there must be friction between the cable and the flywheel. This is what causes the flywheel to turn, of course. But the friction does no work because there is no movement between the cable and the flywheel. OK, so let's analyse the problem. The initial mechanical energy of the system. Well, the kinetic energy is zero and the potential energy is just mgh. We're taking here the zero of potential energy to be at ground level. The final mechanical energy, well, we have the kinetic energy, which I've called k2. That is equal to a half i omega squared plus a half mv squared. And the potential energy is just equal to zero. There's no work done by other forces, and therefore, equating the initial mechanical energy to the final mechanical energy, we have mgh is equal to a half i omega squared plus a half mv squared. Now, for a solid cylinder, the moment of inertia is given by a half m r squared, and substituting that into the previous equation just gives us mgh equal to a half times a half m r squared omega squared plus a half m v squared. We also know that v is equal to r omega. So again, substituting that into the above equation gives us this expression that mgh is a half m r squared times v over r squared plus a half m v squared. And just transposing that equation, we get for v the square root of 2gh over 1 plus m over 2m. The final angular speed is obtained from the equation v equals r omega. In other words, omega is equal to v over r.